Welcome back everyone, this is going to be my new Doctor Strange 2 trailer video. They dropped another trailer with more footage, so we'll break it down, and it'll be my video for Wolverine, the other Fox X-Men variants, and other multiverse characters from other Fox Marvel movies. A lot of you asking about a version of Wolverine showing up in the movie, and there have been a lot of rumors about which characters we'll see as part of this multiverse Illuminati team. Some of them have been confirmed with the other promo art, so I'll explain those. If you're new to the channel, we're doing a giveaway for IMAX tickets for the movie. All you have to do to enter is just let me know who you think plays Wolverine if he's in the movie, but this version is not played by Hugh Jackman. And like a lot of these other multiverse characters, they wind up being variants from other universes that just look like the original actors. This is actually kind of funny too, because the new trailer that they release is actually making fun of people who watch movies on their tiny little phone screens instead of on IMAX or regular movie screens. If you're watching Doctor Strange on a screen this small, you're in the wrong universe. It should go without saying, please do not watch movies on your phone. That's like literally the worst possible way you could watch a movie. But there have been a lot of rumors about which people are on this Multiverse Illuminati team. The big focus is mostly on the X-Men Fox characters because of Patrick Stewart's Professor X showing up in the trailers. But big reminder that most, if not all, these characters are probably variants of the versions that we all remember. Like this Patrick Stewart Professor X is not the Professor X from the actual Fox X-Men movies that we just got done watching. He's just one of his variants from a similar universe in a timeline where his Professor X joined the multiverse team. The way they explained it in the Logan movie is that the one from the original Fox X-Men movies in the future of that timeline wound up dying during the events of the Logan movie. Even though the timelines can be a little bit different from universe to universe, most of the people that we're seeing on this Multiverse Illuminati team are from the present day. The other big difference with this version of Professor X2 is that in the concept art, you can see his chair that he uses to float around in looks exactly like the gold one from X-Men the Animated Series, the futuristic looking one that he actually floats around in. So there also might be some more Easter eggs for X-Men the Animated Series too, everybody playing the theme song in their head right now. The chair from the X-Men movies that he typically rolled around in was a regular electronic chair, just like a normal disabled person might wind up using. If you look at some of the new posters they just released, you zoom in enhance, some of the other concept art makes it seem like there are seven spaces on the team in six chairs, like an empty space in the middle for Professor X's chair. So counting it off, we know there's that alternate Professor X, we know there's a version of Captain Carter, maybe it's the same version from What If, played by Haley Atwell, or maybe it's just from a different, similar universe, because her shield is in the poster, so we know that it's a version of her. We know there's a version of Mordo, he's the one with the sword walking behind the chairs, that's not Blade or anything like that, that's just Mordo with the sword. We know because of the Ultron robot variants from another universe that look kind of like Ultron bots, but they're different. That's the tip off to a superior Iron Man variant is like his version of an Iron Legion. We know about the Maria Rambo Captain Marvel variant. I'm assuming that she's probably on the team because she'd be so powerful. It'd be weird for her to not be on the team if she's that strong. The character to the left here seems like a Black Panther variant played by a different actor, but also there's rumors that there's a version of Black Bolt from the Inhumans, from that Inhumans TV show, like they're legit gonna do a version of him, and maybe a version of Mr. Fantastic from the Fox Marvel movies. So there's still a couple question marks about that last member. I'm expecting them to hold back on this all the way till the movie actually comes out. Like they won't fully reveal everyone on purpose. Maybe the next couple of trailers will have a couple of clues, some of the concept art. When it comes to Wolverine and Thor variants, it'd be weird if they didn't do some kind of Thor variant during the movie. There have been a lot of rumors that a member of his family that they have not done in the MCU movies is supposed to have a cameo and it's supposed to be Bruce Campbell's cameo and he'd be playing a version of Baldur. They almost wound up doing a version of him during the first Thor movie, but it just wound up being too extra. There was too much mythology that they were trying to cover, so they had to whittle down the script. That was way back in Marvel Phase 1 when they were more afraid of losing money and going bankrupt again, so they did more boilerplate types of movies, and they saved all the weird stuff till after they had made their giant pile of money. But even if Bruce Campbell plays a member of Thor's family from another universe, I don't think that that person would be on the Multiverse Illuminati team, because typically if you've seen any of Bruce Campbell's cameos before, like the Spider-Man cameos that he did in the Sam Raimi movies, they're typically comedic. I have to see this show. You just let me in, I'll stand in the... And I think the idea is they want this multiverse Illuminati team to seem like a huge threat. 
As for Wolverine, there have been rumors that Hugh Jackman still isn't coming back. It's going to be another variant played by another actor. And if you've ever read any of the Wolverine stories or watched any of his depictions in the animated series or in the live action movies with Hugh Jackman himself, no version of Wolverine is ever really thought of as a huge joiner. Like it was a huge deal that he actually even agreed to be a member of the X-Men team in the Fox movies. Excuse me, I'm Eric Lynch. Charles Xavier. Go fuck yourself. He's not exactly viewed as Illuminati material in the comics. The characters that are actually on the team are typically viewed as masterminds that are willing to operate in this gray area, do really morally questionable things, universe altering things in the name of the greater good. And that's not really Wolverine. He does do some shady stuff along the way. He is a bit of an anti-hero, but he's never been a member of the Illuminati. So if there is some kind of Wolverine cameo, he's probably just going to show up very briefly and just wreck as much stuff as possible, as you would expect him to do in a cameo like this, like Enforcer style or Doctor Strange and the others run afoul of him and he winds up being a huge threat. But when you talk about mutants and these Fox X-Men characters actually showing up in the MCU legit, because there's been so much talk about this alternate version of Scarlet Witch blowing up this Illuminati base and killing all these variants, my early theory is that during the movie at some point they'll give MCU Scarlet Witch the actual reverse, no more mutants type of scene where she messes the multiverse up so badly, Spider-Man style, she winds up causing some problem that explains why a lot of mutants eventually start popping up inside the MCU. Like during Spider-Man No Way Home, Spider-Man winds up being blamed for all these multiverse problems. I think it'll be a similar scenario during Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness with MCU Scarlet Witch. The funny difference with characters like Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool is that he's such a meta character, you could literally do anything with his character and just have him call it out and you're good to go. Like they're actually making Deadpool 3 right now. He could show up in that movie and say that he's been inside the MCU this whole time and as long as he makes fun of that saying that nothing makes sense anymore since what happened during Doctor Strange 2, that's all the explanation you need for him. Any tips on uh, getting into the MCU there, Korg? That's part of the reason why they had the joke about the different timelines between Patrick Stewart and James McAvoy during the first Deadpool movie. Like, haha, it's all the same timeline, none of it makes sense, and it totally worked in that movie. So everyone posts all your theories about how mutants start showing up inside the MCU if Scarlet Witch seems like she's on such a tear to mess the multiverse up so badly. And let me know who you want to play this Wolverine variant if it's not going to be Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine during the movie. The other new footage that's part of this trailer is America Chavez meeting Doctor Strange and Wong in the streets of the MCU outside the Sanctum before Gargantos, that giant Shumagorth looking tentacle creature attacks them with the runes all over it. That also makes it seem like it's being controlled by someone else who wants her power to travel the multiverse. There's also more footage of Scarlet Witch rotating around her as she hovers inside of what looks like could be Kamartage or the Darkhold Temple based on the runes around her. There are some fuzzy pixelated paintings in the hallways behind her that we can't totally make out, but they probably depict ancient magical battles. There are a lot of people that are still asking who is the actual villain in the movie, and the way they're playing things is actually kind of a meta idea. The whole idea here is that during this movie, Doctor Strange is supposed to be traveling the multiverse himself physically for the first time. That's the way that Marvel is explaining it in their official synopsis. According to Marvel, he's supposed to learn how dangerous the multiverse and variants of himself, other variants can be to the sanctity of reality. This path exacts a heavy toll. Okay. So for instance, Sinister Strange and all the trailer footage with the third eye that we just saw, he's supposed to be bad in the movie. They wind up fighting. They also wind up fighting a Marvel Zombies version of Doctor Strange who seems like a good character that winds up inadvertently becoming bad when he becomes a full-on zombie. The Multiverse Illuminati are supposed to be kind of sinister even though they pretend to be good during the movie and this alternate version of Scarlet Witch winds up doing a bunch of really bad stuff. So even though we all think that MCU Scarlet Witch is being positioned as kind of a villain during the film, the whole idea is that versions of them from all these alternate universes could theoretically end all of reality. They're all that dangerous. But I think part of the idea is also giving you an actual villain, like metaphorical villains and real villains eventually will come out of the movie with someone feeling like the actual villain. A lot of people thinking because of the Nightmare call out that it is Nightmare himself, who is from the Nightmare dimension. That was actually the original director, Scott Derrickson's idea, but he left the project. So that's why a lot of us assume that they would just switch up what was going on with the villains. There's a lot of chaos magic and the Darkhold tied to this in the comics. The Darkhold was created by Cthone, the god of chaos. He also is the person who gave Scarlet Witch her chaos magic powers when she was born. 
So everyone let me know in the comments if you actually think that legit some other big cosmic evil villain will show up during the movie and truly be responsible for everything that's actually been going on. Speaking of powerful big cosmic beings, we'll learn more about the MCU gods during the Moon Knight episodes. My full Moon Knight episode 3 video will post Wednesday just like normal. Make sure you have alerts enabled for my channel so you don't miss that. Everyone click here for my new Moon Knight, Ghost Rider, Midnight Suns video, and everyone click here for my brand new Thor Love and Thunder first look video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.